On any given day, over 57,000 veterans are homeless. Unit 163 of Melbourne, Florida is doing something about it. Their members not only created a way to solve an immediate need, but also found a way to gain the confidence of homeless veterans so they might be helped in more permanent ways. Project Suds is a simple program where homeless veterans are invited once a week to wash their clothes. This project benefits all the homeless veterans that we can seek out. It helps them to be able to get their laundry done free of charge, which they ordinarily would not be able to do. The hardest thing for us to do is to get laundry done. We can, we can have food, we can always get a shower somewhere. But trying to get laundry done each week, it can be really a pain in the you know where. You know, you got to hump it five, six miles, sit at a laundromat, get it, you know, probably half the time it's wet because you got stuck in a storm or something, you know, and been hanging out on your line by your tent. After a while, it, get, it builds up and then mold starts throwing and you ended up throwing away your clothes, you know. I used to have to do my clothes in a, you know, a five-gallon bucket. I'd get water out of a ditch canal. You know, the running water was fairly clean, but that's one of the hardest things for us to do. When we started the project at 163, it was what we are meant to do. We were reaching out to our veterans, giving them the assistance that they needed. And through it all, we have managed uh, to have a, develop a real rapport with those fellas. And they are our family. We have a true connection to them. And it's not just Dan, it's all the ladies from the auxiliary. You know, they, they're so nice to us. Um, it's kind of like, like I say, we're almost like family. It's like a family here, you know, and, and I guess that's what we, we kind of feel. We look forward to Tuesdays. I, I look, on Tuesday morning I wake up and I have energy. I want to get on the bus, I want to get down here as soon as possible, you know. Project Suds is a great way to connect homeless veterans with other agencies to receive the help they've earned. Project Suds allows the Coalition for the Hungry and Homeless Veteran Services Program to reach out to homeless veterans and their families and acquaint them with the services and benefits that are available to bring them from their state of homelessness back into society's norms. The outpouring from the community has been heartwarming. I'm with the local chapter of the Blue Knights Law Enforcement Motorcycle Club. We had read about Project Suds in our newspaper a few weeks ago and uh, I took up a collection for detergent. This morning I called the facility to find out if this is where uh, it was actually happening and I showed up here and I could not believe how much great stuff is going on for our veterans. I read about Project Suds in the Florida Today and as a retired veteran I thought I would come down and meet some of the homeless vets and uh, see what I could do to uh, make their life a little bit easier, to meet them, and also just to make sure that uh, they knew that they were not forgotten. One of those homeless veterans was Billy Collins. Billy Collins um, was the wind beneath my wings. He was the first person I would see get off the bus every Tuesday morning, always with the biggest smile, always thinking of ways to promote this program and to make it work because he knew it was such a, something that was so useful to the veterans. Billy was... Uh... Billy was Billy. Billy was, uh, he was a person that when you were feeling down in the morning or in the, in the evening, he'd come by and give you a big hug and tell how much he loved you, you know? Trying to keep your chin up. Things will get better, you know? He was my hero. You know, three bronze stars, boots on the ground in Vietnam. Billy had finally decided he was ready to come out of the woods and he had applied for VA benefits as well as Social Security benefits. He would have been 62 years old in June and would have received benefits from the VA and Social Security. Billy was days away from figuratively and literally getting out of the woods. I've known Billy for about 10 years and uh, three days prior to him passing away, him and I were having a conversation about how he was excited that he was just getting ready to get the help that he deserved to get out of the woods. Um, he was talking about how him and his best friend Frank were going to be able to hang out together at his place and uh, enjoy life in the last chapter of his life. And uh, he was really, really excited about that. Unfortunately, Billy was trying to make his way back to the camp one evening, accidentally fell into a body of water and drowned. 
When we lost Billy, it was like losing a family member to me because he had become so close to me and to this program. At his camp in the woods, the other veterans left his chair as a place to reflect. Before he died, the auxiliary paid Billy's dues to reinstate his American Legion membership. Billy's memorial service was planned to be one of a true hero and not a homeless veteran. I wanted everybody to know that Billy had a name. I wanted to know how proud we all were of Billy's service. And thanks to the American Legionnaires from our post, we gave Billy a service to be remembered by all. Project Suds has spread to other units because of the need and its simplicity. Project Suds has four main elements, a neighborhood laundry, quarters, detergent, and homeless veterans. Not necessarily in that order. This project has become so important, something so simple as collecting quarters and going out and, and helping these guys do their laundry. There's no big mysterious thing about it. We just get together, we get the money in, the community has jumped in. Any unit throughout the United States can do this project. And the members of Unit 163 have benefited too. I love our guys, my guys. They're the inspiration for this project. Uh, they're the reason we smile. We have all gotten more in our hearts from, from our guys than we could ever do for them.